So we've been under here for at least an hour, probably two hours. We've had to realign the fire to make a kind of chimney with a roof on it. Otherwise the fire goes out. There's been a monumental amount of rain that has uh, fallen, none of which was forecasted. Yeah, it's just been dust. I'm just not, I'm not, I'm not putting myself through that. I'm not going out in it. <laughs> That's the bottom line. I think we're going to chill out for a few hours and hope we're breaking the rain because this is just a no go. Right, four hours of rain later and the rain has been somewhat bi biblical. That wasn't here we got on the island. I generally think there's been about three centimetres of rain. You see that? I mean, it's not even just a wee bit. There has been a lot of rain. We are going to take the spinning gear out and give it our best to try and get a mackerel. Yeah. Let's see how we get on. That right there is a cloud of puffins. The GoPro obviously won't do it justice, but you know what? They are lovely little birds to see. And it's a really healthy colony of them out here. We're going to try and catch the mackerel, so what we've done is we've got the set of feathers there or a perch. I'm going to fish a weak tabiki rig with some very small uh, tabiki flashes, and uh, we'll see if we can get either sand eels or mackerel. We doubled up. <laughs> you stuck on the bottom then? Oh. I think you were stuck. Say. Oh, excuse my French face. Yeah, I'm on the bottom again. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> right, I'll get my arm. It's alright, don't. You, you, you he's off. Oh, he's gone. He lost. I oh, know yours is coming up. Here he comes. Oh, no, I've caught up one. Hang on. I'm in again. Yeah, another good one. It's not as good. Oh, there it is. It's not bad. Oh, oh. oh it's gone down again. So, never. Get up, get up, get up. Oh, yes. It's not as big as yours, I don't think, but. <laughs> Set that before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. Well, that'd be the smaller one. <laughs> He's away. He's away. So that was about five pounds. That. Okay. That's pretty free nice. a bit. Yeah. Lovely. Really, really nice. Very hard fight. And he lost a bigger one and then he hooked that. <laughs> right. Neil, you know I'm gonna set us up for the next drift. Oh, oh, yeah. Right. We're gonna do that drift again. No no no. Come on, come up, come up. We're going shallow. We're going shallow. Oh. What have we got in here? Here he comes. Oh, he's lover. No, 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 no. <sighs> a big collar. Right, we have to get it in quick. That's the one I caught earlier, mate. I'm sure oh, it's not. Oh, Christ, he's drunk. Right. Hold the rod, hold the rod. Got the rod, got the rod. Oh, Woohoo! Beautiful, beautiful sky pollock. It's got to be over six pounds in there, possibly seven.
That's how you put a big one back. <laughs> okay, this is a substantially better fish than the last few that we've had. <laughs> He's bigger than he is small. <laughs> <laughs> there is at least eight pound in that. He, he is broad across the shoulders, so at least between the lens, he's, and he is absolutely inhaled that. The following day I wanted to further explore this place underwater, so I got the wetsuit back on and got in the water again. This area has a large colony of grey Atlantic seals, these are sometimes referred to as silky seals and they are absolutely monstrous in size, much much larger than the normal common seals that I'm used to diving with. It was an amazing experience to dive with these seals and have them come right up to me, however the flip side of that was that it scared off nearly all the large fish, so the spear fishing was pretty difficult and I ended up spearing a few fish around the three pound mark. Not the best spearfishing by any means, but it was still uh, just an awesome place to dive and sometimes it's more about where you dive in than the size of the fish.
that's us all packed up now. We're just leaving and heading back. The big boats load up with all our gear. I'm just carrying the a few of the fish that we speared and a couple of fish we caught. Um, just gonna head back towards the mainland now and uh, get back. Sad to be leaving, it's gotta be said. I've had an amazing few days here and it's just it's just phenomenal this place. I mean, there's some fields there. It's just a beautiful place to spend a few days and I wish I could spend a few more, but uh, sadly gotta go back to reality. Allegedly, that was a three and a half to four pound pollock. That's all for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, can you please hit that like button as it actually makes a difference? Thank you for watching. <laughs>